Okay, hi, this is Jody, and let's do one more APK reverse engineering challenge. I was playing UUTCTF, and this was one of the kind of nice and fun challenges under reverse engineering on APKs. Only 12 solves, so it should be a little bit difficult. You will download this, and it says, unfortunately, the newbie developer has used obfuscator in a wrong way. Now the application does not work. Make the application work, grab the flag. Note, you should ask for the flag. I'm not very good in APKs. I'm not good in Java development. I'm not good in Android development. So I was not going to make the application work. What I'm going to do is do a reverse engineer, crack the Ah, very code in the software. Downloaded this and ran it. Let's have a look. I will run the ask the flag. It's a simple interface. I'm not sure what how it does it work. Please tell me, how can I help you? Show me the flag. Show me the flag, please. Hey, what's the flag? Hey, what's the flag? Please tell me, how can I help you? I cannot understand how it works. Let's do the reverse engineering. Okay, as you saw, no much, not much luck and only 12 solves. So it should be more difficult. Let's go to the Kali because of the tools. And I have the APK here. We will go for reverse engineering. As I've told you in the previous video, every APK file is a zip file. So you can change the extension to the zip or don't and unzip it and see the dex file which is the main program but what we do is we use apk tool d which is the compile or whatever and voice of utc this will create a directory with all the data related to this program so i will go to the here we'll open files and these smally files are the files we can read to understand how the program works. You can go through them, but most of the time, for example, Android support is not interesting for us. Android itself, com, Google, Android, material stuff, not interesting for us here, but we have one IO. Michael Rocks has a library for uh, obfuscate the programs the texts. This is what is used here. I have solved this yesterday, so I know what I'm doing. This can take a lot longer for you going through this, seeing them, learning them. And this should be educational. You are not playing CTF just to show that, okay, I solved this, I solved this, I solved this. If you are doing that, you are just showing off or wasting your time. You may like it. You may enjoy it. I'm not sure. But if it's too easy, that won't be fun and you won't learn anything. But in general, CTFs are a nice place to learn new stuff. So here we have the uh, obfuscated library, obfuscation library. The program we use for read these are JADX GUI. You can select all and move them here and you will see how it works the obfuscator works like this it has a get a string function it will get an id and a chunk of data and in that chunk of data will search for this id and will uh, give you back the string identified by this specific id this is how it works this is the logic and it's difficult to understand because it's written to be difficult and the package is called paranoid. And we have a get character which is used here. So this is the main library which does the power lifting. But where is our program? If you go here, there is another class, smally classes2, and again some directories, irmmutctf, and these are the files here. If you load this, these will be gone. So what I will do is I will go and add the files to make it easier. 
ask the flag and we'll select all of these files add files now i have the, on my source code i have this for the challenge main activity is the main thing which runs so main activity what it does it gets intent one string from the get string then it goes forward when the uncreate happens the app is running and it wants to create its window and everything content view will check for the permission with this string then we'll put extra with this string this string this string there are some strings using on the GUI then it goes forward we have some on results when it reads something most probably speech recognizer is here get a string array index with this string then it will create some buffer will add this string when i say this string this is a cryptic array inside of that chunk array which have we have not seen yet but it is creating one buffer with some strings in them then what it will do it checks if array 3 equals it will tell element 2 element is the reversed of this buffer the string whatever 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 if it's more than one and this it does this so it seems if it's here something it will does this it it if it hears something else it does this what we don't know what are these this is the problem but something is very important here see get a string gets only one parameter on the get a string we saw previously it was getting two parameters here see it gets id and chunk now i'm here i'm getting only the id so something is happening here on some more investigation i saw that on smally class we also have another io files and with one more the ops the obfuscator library let's add this to i will add a file will go up will go up will go up from here i will go to the id there is one more class here and this is it see this is the new one what it does it gives you one get a string with only one number as input so we know what we are calling and it gets calls get a string with that number and with chunks which always is a constant thing this is the chunk we have but here on the jadx it doesn't show it as a correct string so this should be some binary stuff let's go and check what is this uh, what file is this this is the file ah we have it here so i can just open this in mousepad as a normal file as an assembly smally file see this is the constant we are looking there so now we know what we have we have that that obfuscator functions we have a chunk and we have some j's as ids what we need to do is reverse engineer this the obfuscator but this is a difficult task i'm not going to do this I'm going to reuse it. We have all the source code. So if we create the same program, which runs with the same code here, calls this, uses this chunk and calls this ID, it should give me back the uh, string. Let's go for that one. This is a very fun way. M many times you don't need to reverse engineering things. You just need to redo the things. I will create a new terminal we'll go here we'll run tmax to make it easier we'll create a file it's called decoder java what i will do i will say class decoder in this class i have a main function which is public static uh, void main string args and this is my main function this 
should do the heavy lifting, but sorry, should do the main call to the deobfuscation files. Those will do the heavy lifting. I have all of those codes there. So let's start. This is the helper. I need this, I need that, I need everything. Copy. Oh. And. Oof. I lost, I lost, I lost everything. Public, static, void, main, string, args. This is the easy part. So no harm. And I will paste what I had from there. I was not in the paste mode. That was the reason that it was that ugly. Why this didn't work correctly. Anyway, I saved this. I have this. I don't need the this function. I have the other functions. Okay. So what else do we have here? This is the helper. This is this. This one is needed. This is needed because these are the helper functions for random number generators. So I will also copy this into my program. I'm creating a new program with all the parts it needs to be to run correctly. So I have this. I have the get a string. I have I think everything is needed, right? Because here I don't have anything important. Here I copied everything we had, get a string, and this is not. And this is what I should call for my own purpose, right? Let's copy all of this because I also need the other parts. This is in my main function. Okay, but this chunk is not correct. I need the correct chunk. The dollar with delete to the end of the line. Once more, the dollar. Okay. And this is static is useless here. Also these. I'm in my main function, right? So I have one chunks. I need one variable for myself. It was called J. I can do the same thing and let's say J equals blah, 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 long. Then we have the string. We have this. We need this. And at the end, what we have to do is where is the end of the main function? Ow. I lost the end of the main function. Was it this? No. Did I delete it? Anyway, let's see how it will come out. I created a new program with the parts from the other program. What I will now is I will print my results. That would be system out print line. It was like uh, get string. I'm calling this function uh, with them J and chunks. Right. So I don't need this. So what will happen in my main program is I have the chunk here. I will copy paste it a little bit later. And I'm just copying the main program they had in their software. I have the long here and I have all the code needed. So it's enough to call get string. Let's see how it will work. But first I need this. I will copy this. Copy and let's 
let's paste it here two extra and now it should be okay i believe let's go here and city temp what was it called decoder java c decoder java lots of errors ah because i have all the helpers there see it's calling the random helper i put all of this code in the same class so i don't need this anymore do we have any more of it yes here Okay, that was it. To separate myself. Hop. Now it's compiled. I have to call it as decoder. And I've got some errors because I just used a random number here. And most probably this gives error on the string or whatever. Let's use the real ones this was it this was the now i copied all the code into my program and i'm just running it the same software the main software is running it very easy hack to find the values let's try this and see what this does okay i say my j is this please run the code Ah, it doesn't work. What is this? Next, it, it should be seed. The thing we decoded was Android speech extra language model. So we were able to decode this. Most probably the fun part is happening here. For example, let's copy this one. I can say from the logic because now the program is a start. I have the results. It puts these into this buffer and then checks if this is that. If it's that, please return that. So most probably this is the main logic of the software. If we were writing a proper program, it would be better to create, to copy all of these into an array and run them one by one. But we are just solving for a challenge. This was just a hashtag. Ugly. Let's try this. It says, please ask in a more polite way. This is one of the strings hidden in the software. So I believe that if we say that, we get back this answer. What we did is we copied all the source code of the, uh, the obfuscation into one program, copied the chunk, and just checking the different J's to see what these string transfer to. Please show me the flag, dear. This is what we had to say maybe and this should be the answer yes for sure the flag is UTCTF please is the magic so we have this flag it was a very fun you learned how to reverse engineering an APK and you saw how to crack a code without even understanding the flow i was jody i would be very glad if you subscribe to see other videos let's improve our knowledge have fun